Hey everybody, it's Sid here. Welcome back to another Animal Jam video. Cat, I thought I told you to sit down. Today I am going to be talking about the uh, premium shop and the push to that. Uh, this perspective is going to be from somebody who has been playing Play Wild since 2016. So I know a lot about the premium stuff. So. Animal Jam has used premium stuff since the beginning. Um, before it started to be used now, it was mainly to buy sapphires and membership. But back in 2016, before sapphires were added, you would use this to get animals like the tiger or the horse or the arctic wolf or new dens and stuff. That was the way you got the more premium stuff before they became um, on sale for sapphires. And sapphires are added, and then mostly the premium shop was to get sapphires or bundles or membership bundles, and that was that. Um, and then in 2021, no, 2022, sorry, last year, Animal Jam introduced a super box program, which was similar to the premium shop but for a more limited time, and you can save money if you got bigger bundles. So if you got one thing from the super box, you would get three of it from the uh, more expensive super box, but a cheaper thing per. Now a lot of jammers ended up complaining about the super boxes because you didn't really have enough time to really give it an. Me, personally, it was plenty of time for me to make a choice. I had enough time seeing people had them, hearing people's opinion on them, and then making my own decision whether to get or not. And I got one super box out of all of them, and that was the Galaxy Pet. I ended up buying the Toadstool ones from various my shops, hence my main look. Um, so... Animal Jam added the premium shop and a lot of people are skeptical about it because now Animal Jam is very much explicit when it comes to exclusive items and paying money. When, in from my experience, they've been doing it since the beginning. Um, so that is... is. A TLDR of my opinion, but now I'm going to be, when I'm done with this trade, I'm going to be looking at, uh, I'm, so now I'm going to be looking at the premium shop and assess whether things are worth it. So first off, we have the Rainbow Galaxy Spiked Collar. Now, these are in Canadian dollars, since, um, I mean, I would say I think they're in Canadian dollars. So, this would be two ninety nine, so three dollars for that, uh, for a spike. And, yeah, this is something that I know is controversial, and, I don't know. And the way I see it, it's very similar to a super box, except you have to make a purchase for everything, so it's a less cool super box. My main problem with the super boxes was they hyped it up so much to thinking, oh, it's like a sapphire bundle or a members only bundle, and then it just became something for real money, and it kind of rubbed me the wrong way. But this, at least they're being honest about it's in the premium shop. Um, the potion bundle, if you look at this for more information, you can click this and it has the Rainbow Galaxy Spiked Collar, which you can take a look. It looks pretty cool. I actually would want it, but I don't know if I want to pay $3. I'm going to put it on my wish list, though. This potion bundle contains like quite a bit of potions, and there's $3 for all of these and a lot of these you can get from phantom dimension or fighting phantoms or 
various prizes and it just you know this just saves you time especially if you're new to the game and want to do it and this would be worth quite a bit in people's shops you go down here you have bundles and these bundles seem to be relatively permanent they don't really have an expiration date or anything so we have a and they also have like a beginner new jammer bundle and since i've been playing for literally ages my account's probably older than some people in this game i don't have it but this crafting bundle it does come with a lot of exclusive crafting crystals so 30 of those which is nice and it does come with exclusive um things too especially like a spiked collar that would be the only reason I'd consider getting it, but I'm probably not, because crafting is cool, but I don't really. I think I've only crafted two items, two or three items in total, and that's just to get rid of excess crafting crystals I didn't need. This token pet eye swap potion is something I do want to talk about later, so I will save that for later in my thoughts on that. They're not good. Wolf pack. I do think this is cool because I have, I know a lot of people, and I have a friend, personally, who joined a little under a year ago and was on is only able to get three out of five wolves. So I can foresee my friend possibly getting this bundle. Um, and I know other people. Who, I know that a lot of people also think that you have the super starter, which you can get. So it has like 200 sapphires, my shop, pain city tree, pet adoption, pet station, phantom portal, a free egg, and 5,000 gems. All this is probably worth, so it's like 200, 2 DS 450. All that, I'm going to round it to around 1,000 sapphires worth for 9.99, which is, if you click... 700 and 300 700 sapphires is 9.99 so you're actually like if you get 700 and 300 and buy all those items it would be more expensive than just getting the super starter um so about the token pet eye swap potion i personally don't think it's good um if we, I think the article is still up, but I do, um, let's see, uh, I, I did see it somewhere on an article on here, but I could, oh, here we go. So you can randomize their eyes again. So it doesn't change their thing, but it's like a re-roll feature, which I kind of see is useful if your pe token pet's eyes look absolutely weird and they look dead or something, you want to change it. But I don't really know. If I'm, uh, I think that an eye swap potion is inherently not good because you're paying for it to be re-rolled i feel so bad for any of like the unlucky people who either spend their well-earned money or have to beg their parents to let them get the eye swap potion just for it to randomize and be either the exact same eyes as before or even worse eyes. I don't think it's worth it. For one thing, if I'm paying my well-earned money on the token eye swap potions, I would want to be able to choose the eyes. And another thing, too, is it probably would affect the rarity as well. With a couple of dollars, you can make it so that your pet is way more rare, which is paying for essentially is paying for your pet to be more rare and that's uh oh i know that that would be controversial but the way i see it you're also paying for that rainbow spiked collar and animal channels had exclusive items for 
people who pay for the game for so long now. Even on Classic, you've had the exclusive gift card bundles, or the Animal Jam Outfitter bundles, or the toy bundles. It's always been a thing for so long in the game. And this could be very, very useful, like the Wolfpack bundle. That would be great in the starter one. That's great for new jammers. But also, new jammers probably aren't able or don't want to fork $10 for that. The best bundle in this is the Wolfpack bundle. And if you're really into crafting, the crafting bundle is good too. But that's about it. I know people will pay for the Rainbow Galaxy spiked collar. Personally, I wouldn't. And I, I, I don't see the thing. But there are people who want it for their spec collections and they will do it. Um, but the token I swap potion is just not good. It is not good. Because you're basically, it, it, it's a gamble. It is a gamble. And you want to get one of them, right? Oh, you get three. You get three. So, you just push around with change the eye type of any pet adopted from the adoption machine. It, it's just a gamble. You're paying, how much was it again? $4. You're paying $4 to gamble. It, it, it's not good. It is not. I, I, I don't like that. And it's either you gamble or you pick and people purposely pick like there's thing that would deflate so much. I'm not really a rarity expert, but I do know basic economy facts in that if the demand is high and or lower and the supply gets really high, then it's not elusive or rare anymore and then people won't really care about it and then the rarity would go down and people who traded their entire lives away for pet with swirly eyes will just kick themselves out of oh my god I should have gotten the token eye swap potion so oh, those are just my scattered thoughts if you have any thoughts let me know I'm very curious and I would love to have a discussion with you anyways I hope you all enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one good Bye.